Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be trying out two new luxury products. I was going to do an individual review on these, but I just decided to mush them together into one video. It saves me time. And if you're interested in one product over the other, I of course will put timestamps down below. But we are working with the Chanel Fleurs de Printeps blush and highlighter duo and then I also couldn't resist the Dior pink Sakura quint as well so I, I don't know exactly how well these are gonna go into one look but I'm just gonna save myself some time and test out both so if you want to see how they turn out and just keep watching Hi guys, if you're new here, my name is Morgan. I am a product knowledge enthusiast. I just love knowing anything and everything about all of the new makeup on the market and sharing my thoughts with you guys. Both of these items are from the Spring 2021 collection and there are other pieces in both collections. But first, let's talk about Chanel, shall we? So one of my goals for 2020 was to get more into Chanel, mostly because you guys are always recommending Chanel products to me and <sighs> I just, I've been longingly wanting to get into Chanel. There's some things that don't really interest me, but there are some things on the other hand that do really interest me and I had to pick up this duo. So also in the collection, it looked like there was two eyeshadow quads, but I read somewhere that they aren't available in the US. They were on the website and then they weren't. Anyways, I was mostly interested in the little blush duo as well. So <laughs> can I just say ordering from the Chanel website was quite exquisite. Just unboxing this was so stunning. Then you open it up and then you got the blush. So the blush is going to come in this packaging. This is the Fleurs de Printeps. I think half of the reason why I never wanted to review Chanel was because my pronunciation was just downright embarrassing. But this is the box that it comes in. On the top it says blush and highlighter duo. It comes in a Chanel sleeve and here is the product itself. I'm gonna zoom in so you guys can get a closer look here. Oh, I just love it. Here is the back. You can see that the product is made in Italy. Let's see, 18 month shelf life, eight grams of product. So this is why I needed this product. So when you open it up, get this little guy. I don't, it feels pretty nice, honestly. And I mean, as you can see, this is why I wanted this product. So this side is the blush. Then we have the highlighter. So facts about this guy, it is $70. I picked it up from the Chanel website. And it is a limited edition powder duo with a satiny peach highlighter and a radiant coral orange blush. It is created for their spring and summer 2021 collection. Obviously, it's embossed with a floral motif. So I'm just going to try it out. Then we'll get to the eye. I haven't touched it yet because I couldn't. Normally I'll swatch at least before I get into a video, but I had to show you it in its prime. So let's swatch now. Mm. So it doesn't feel super duper soft, which is fine for a cheek product, but you can see it's actually quite pigmented. Looks really pretty. Normally not the colors that I go for for blush, but I'm very, very excited about it. So let's try it on. I'm going to use my blinged brush, F14 brush, and we're going to apply just a little bit of the blush. So I did a few taps. <gasps> that is stunning. And if you're curious about anything else that I'm wearing, it will be linked in the description box. So it does have a very natural sheen to it. And this is just the blush alone. And if you hear noise in the background, they're doing some work outside and it's quite loud and annoying, but I won't let them ruin my day <laughs> or my video. But that's a really gorgeous blush. It's a beautiful coral color. I don't normally go for this type of color, but I'm into it. Let me try the highlighter now. I'm gonna use my Kaleidos H1 brush and we're gonna go into the highlight. Here we go. Ooh, that has a really nice sheen to it. It's more reflective than I thought it was gonna be. I notice a slight hue on my face. It's almost like a little bit of a cast, but it's okay because it almost extends the blush, but also makes it a highlight. So you'll see on my skin tone, it might get just a touch more orange, but ever so slightly. And it looks okay because it blends in perfectly with the blush. It just looks like the blush is blended out, but when you turn, 
It's a really smoothing, pretty highlighter. Now you'll see a little bit of texture is emphasized right here. It's highlight, that's the name of the game with highlight, I always say. It is stunning. And I'm gonna put a little bit more blush put everything on so this is one of the few chanel products that i own but i really really enjoy it now if you ask me if i think it's worth 70 dollars when you buy from chanel you're simply buying for the experience and i must say this was a very good experience everything from the shipping to how it came packaged to the beautiful embossment and application i think everything was quite seamless i'm very very happy with my purchase i think it is so beautiful and believe it or not i don't have a lot of cheek colors that are quite like this so for me this was worth it do i think it's worth it for everybody no but if you're looking for that luxury experience as somebody who doesn't have a lot of chanel i really really like this let's move on to the eyes and i could not resist the dior pink sakura palette now this came out as a part of their spring collection as well so we have this quint and then they also came out with a couple trios and i have a review of those trios i'll put them down there we're called the tree oblique eyeshadow palettes those were not good so i was very happy to see that they had a quint and actually i did see it looks like there's a collection of quints for the spring that came out i'll post a photo right here i'm not as well versed on early luxury makeup releases but i did see that there was more but this one i purchased from the dior website so this is available right now it is 63 dollars which again it's very pricey you're paying for the experience as well and in here this again is on touched or getting this first impression experience together let's see it has the dior embossment it has the two applicators so it looks like in here you get two satins a shimmer a matte leaning a little bit satin and then a glitter shade so let's swatch these okay so these are some rough swatches so you'll see that these three shades and it is a little bit washed out from the lighting but you'll see that these three shades are quite sheer but the matte blended beautifully. It was very, very pigmented, very opaque, but still isn't patchy on the hand. And the shimmer is just okay. I'm not as well versed in the newly formulated Dior Quince. I have some that I still need to play with. I think I'll do a video kind of showing you them and swatching the ones that I have and my mom has because my mom's really fell in love with them. But yeah, so far I'm not in love with the swatches, but uh, let's not base on swatches. Let's just get into the application. I'm using a little bit of Urban Decay Primer potion as my base this is such an OG I remember using this like since 10 years ago so I'm starting off with my Isam B34 and we're taking in this satiny shade right here I'm gonna run this in the crease like so you can see it does have that satin finish to it it's quite light so it did create a nice shadow on the eye I think it's prettier than it swatch but you know it didn't swatch very pigmented and it's not super pigmented on the eyelid but it doesn't look like it would be a pigmented color anyways I'm gonna try this matte shade which honestly was the most impressive swatching wise for my personal taste so I'm trying to use a very light, subtle amount because I want to build on later. That's beautiful. I really like this shade. And if you just use a touch, you can get a very subtle, sophisticated eye if you're not looking for anything smoky. But I can see this building up to something quite smoky. I'm going to put just a touch of that down on the lower lash line as well, the outer part. Isum W21, we're gonna try out the middle shade now. So this is the only true metallic or shimmer shade. I'm gonna put this in the center of the lid. I think it pulls a little bit lighter color-wise, but it's very pretty. It's not anything crazy metallic or foiled. It's a very sophisticated shimmer. We're gonna go for this soft kind of powdery lilac shade. I'm using an Isum B27. This is just gonna very subtly brighten up the eye. So you can see it does have that little bit of shimmer there, a little bit of reflection, but very soft. But I do quite love how that opened up the eye. I'm actually gonna take some of that on the top of the brush and open it up down here as well. So I left the inner part of my lower lash line blank. I'm glad I did because now I can have this nice bright eyed effect. And then finally I'm going to go in with this icy lilac shade. It's more icy than lilac but it goes perfectly in this quint. 
You guys, I was not sure about this quint when I first swatched it and applied those first two colors, but it really came together and I think I really, really like it. So I'm gonna finish the rest of my makeup and then I'll be back to give you my final thoughts. All right, so I've gotten myself together. I am very pleased with both of the products. So I already said my piece on this cheek duo. I think it is absolutely stunning. Everything from the presentation to the product itself to how it blended onto the cheeks. I recommend it. So if you are interested in this product, I definitely give it a thumbs up. It is stunning. And then as far as the quint, I feel like we went like this for a little bit because I bought it. I thought it was beautiful. When I first opened it, the very first unboxing, it was in bad lighting and I was like, ooh, this is not as colorful and pretty as I thought, but in good lighting, it actually is as pretty and beautiful as it looks. Then I swatched it and I I was like, I don't know. But then I started applying the colors and truly it is a beautiful quint. I don't think it's for everybody. If you like very, very pigmented shadows and a lot of shimmer, a lot of dimension on the eyelid as far as texture, I don't think this is for you. However, I think this is a fabulous, sophisticated purple palette. I think it's going to be great on mature skin because you don't get crazy glitter or texture or a consistency that's too thick. So this is gonna look beautiful if you have more of a mature skin type but you still want that little pop of color and it's very customizable as to how purple you actually get it so I think for typically what I prefer you guys know I love that texture I love that dimension I love the different glitters and the thicker consistency I love that but this is a nice change it really is a perfect sophisticated eye look with this quint and you can't expect any less from Dior honestly if I wanted those crazy formulas then I wouldn't go towards Dior. So if you like the Dior formula, I think that this applies so much more beautifully than it swatched. And I really, really am happy I ended up picking this one up. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little try on with me. I just wanted to try on these products because I spent so much money on them, so I was going to get a video out of it. So let me know your thoughts on these products down below. I will link them if you are interested in picking them up. And I will see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video, all that good stuff. And yeah, bye.